in a class of 48 students, 30 of them offer physics and 27 offer biology. Each student offers at least one of the subjects. What is the probability that a student chosen at random offers physics only? So in this class, we have 48 students. And out of these 48 students, 30 of them offer physics and 27 offer biology. The question tells us that each student offer at least one of the two subjects. We are going to use this information to calculate the probability that a student who is chosen at random from the class offers physics only. Before we can find the probability that a student who is chosen at random from the class offers physics only, we first have to find the number of students who offer physics only. We will get that by illustrating this information on a Venn diagram. So let's do that. We have the rectangle here to show the number of students in the class. That is the universal set. So u is equal to 48, which is the number of students in the class. From the question, we are told that 30 of them offer physics. So let's use this circle to represent those who offer physics. And 27 offer biology. Let's use this circle to represent those who offer biology. Let's assume that the number of students who offer both subjects is x. So it means that this region will be x. If here is x, then it means that the number of students who offer physics only will be equal to 30 minus x. And the number of students who offer biology only will be equal to 27 minus x. The question tells us that each student offers at least one of the two subjects. So what it means is that P union B complement is zero. So you indicate that on the Venn diagram. When we add everything in the Venn diagram together, it should give us the universal set, which is 48. So 30 minus X plus X plus 27 minus X plus zero should give us 48. This will give us 57 minus x is equal to 48. And x will be equal to 57 minus 48, which is 9. So this means that 9 students offer both subjects. If 9 students offer both subjects, then the number of students who offer physics only will be equal to 30 minus 9. And 30 minus 9 will give us 21. So 21 students offer physics only. There are 48 students in the class and 21 students offer physics only. So the probability that a student selected at random from the class offers physics only will be equal to the number of students who offer physics only, which is 21, divided by the total number of students in the class, which is 48. And this will give us 7 divided by 16. So the probability that a student selected at random from the class offers physics only, it's 7 divided by 16.